Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today, I want to look at an amazing release for the Raspberry Pi 4. Now it's called Raspbian XP Professional, and it's basically a modified version of Raspbian. But the great thing about this software is that it's got everything you need for the Raspberry Pi 4 built in. Things like Box86, emulators like PPSPP and Red Dream, plus everything you need to get work done. And the front end is all made to look like Windows XP so it's easy to navigate and get things done. Now this was all put together by Pi Labs, and I must say they've done a great job. I would even go as far as saying it's a game changer. So anyway, let's take a look at it. Now, once you've downloaded your copy of Raspbian XP, just transfer it onto your SD card. I'm using the Raspberry Pi image software to do this, but you can use Balencia Etcher also. Now, once the software has been written onto your SD card, just put your SD card into your Raspberry Pi and watch it boot up. So the first thing you'll see is that it looks exactly like Windows XP, and it even acts like Windows XP. Now, we've got the Chromium Media Browser. Now this is your regular Chromium browser, but it's been modded so you'll be able to view your Netflix, your Amazon Prime, your YouTube, without any screen tearing that can be present in your regular distros. Now, YouTube is equally as good, and like I said, there's no screen tearing. Now this reportedly also works flawlessly on Netflix, but I'm not able to test this as I haven't got Netflix. If we click on the start button, we'll see we get terminal emulator, file manager, and web browser. And on the right, we've got our little submenus. So we've got favorites, recently used, and all. Clicking on accessories, we get all our accessories, including Balencia Etcher. So this is great news. We can flash all our images onto our SD cards using the Raspberry Pi. And just like Windows, we've got our little task manager, which shows all our CPU processes. Also, it comes with graphical representation. Now, like I said, this distro is brilliant for emulation gaming. We've got most of the major emulators for the Raspberry Pi, including SNES, PSP, and MAME, to name a few. So I'm going to take a quick look at the PSP emulator first. So we just select it and let it boot up. Now I've got a USB stick inserted with all my games on it, and they show up with no issues at all. Now I'm going to try Street Fighter Alpha first. Now guys, as this is in full screen, it's running a bit slower than it would do if it was in Windows mode. Now it's easy enough just to run it in Windows mode, and you get a faster experience. But it's not an issue, it's quite bearable. Okay, so we've got all our modes here. I'm going to just choose arcade mode. And we've got all the great characters. I'm going to go with this Cody, I've not tried him before. Okay, here goes, wish me luck. Damn, I knew I should have chosen somebody else. Okay, moving swiftly on. Let's try Need for Speed, Most Wanted. And let's do a quick instant race. And again, we can see the graphics are there, the motion's smooth, and here we go. Don't judge me. Now, my excuse is gaming on the keyboard's not easy with this. So guys, again, I think it's congratulations to the Pi Lab for making this distro. It achieves everything and more that you could possibly want from your Raspberry Pi. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like, and maybe even a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.